Jamaican No. Oh, really? No. Yeah, you gotta dig it up with a shovel. Huh? Because it's the, it's the root down there. It's the big, it's the big tune. So let's come back tomorrow and just dig it up with a shovel and take it home. So you mean these, are, these, are these annuals or perennials? Perennials, they'll come back every year. Yeah. And you might have four or five of them down there, but you can dig it up. When what you time are you coming tomorrow? Know. I want to be over by myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. y'all should always posse up together, that's true. Yeah, yeah what time? Uh, what time you want to come? Anything else? No, In the morning. Yeah. Okay. This house were in better shape, I'd buy this uh, one. I like this house. I like the shed out there. Okay. So, the Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a nice property. I like this place. It's small, small enough, small and cute. <laughs> for, <laughs> what, for a lot? <laughs> Not for a house. For live. To live in. Are you on the leash? Uh, I wouldn't want to live here. You gotta use your imagination. It's very depressing mm -hmm. to see your neighborhoods, you know, just deteriorating like this. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to keep up your property. And uh, the, the banks that have foreclosed on these people aren't doing anything with theirs. They're, they're leaving their grass to the city of Youngstown to cut. And it's not fair. Because my tax dollars are going for, you know, people that have neglected it, their property and living out of state somewhere. Ask five years in the last mm -hmm. five years five years or less they've been going down that the area's been going down there's one over here that boarded up and everything but on my street there's four one right across the street from my garden and then three in a row right next to my house one of which the, the people died the husband died then two years later the wife died and the, the daughter didn't want to rent the house but she lives in Florida, she wanted to sell it. And the people that were interested in it didn't have enough money, they were willing to pay her rent. But the looters came in in the middle of the night and gutted it, now the house ain't worth 50 cents. Then the next house down, uh, the guy bought it off of the owner that uh, his family, because he had died and his family didn't want to have anything to do with real estate, so they were trying to dump, get rid of all the houses cheap. So they sold him this house for $500 he takes out a loan from the bank and starts making the note. He doesn't want to fix up the house and the girl that was in it was pregnant. So uh, the state made her move because the guy wouldn't take out the lead-based paint. So there's another house that's empty and the, you know the bank's on it and they're not doing anything with it. <clears throat> the city's cutting the grass and then the, the house next door to me, the bank owns it. The guy got out of prison, came in and uh, so basically had a sale, a yard sale, with everything, the pipes and everything, the furnace, everything, he sold it out. So it's basically a gutted house. And that, the bank owns that also. But I have to keep up the property next door to mine to make sure, make my property look okay. I have to cut the grass and stuff and trim the hedges and stuff to keep my property looking nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. Which, with every house that, uh, comes down on in my area that's what I plan to do yeah <laughs> put mm -hmm. a garden on there like squatters rights we're gonna have garden rights you know with the, that garden will beautify the area and we will be able to keep the grass cut and everything because we won't have that much space to have grass we're gonna try to have a one big garden on it every time they tear down the house we don't have to dig in the dirt we can make raised bed gardens because raised bed gardens are the wave of the future. Because a lot of older people want to still garden and they can. So with those raised beds, ones that are made out of hay, they can sit down and garden. You can stand for a while, sit down, but if you, you can't stand, you, yeah, you can sit down and garden. And, and it's mind boggling, it's soothing. This is my first project. And it turned out to be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's my dream. And then it's something you like too, so it doesn't make it, the work seem so hard. It's a lot of hard work, but it's fun when you get up at 6 o'clock in the morning trying to beat the sun and uh, work till 12. And when it's 12, when it's, that's it. Can't stay out in the sun no more if you're too dehydrated. To the garden, yeah. everybody in the neighborhood is trying to beautify it. All of a sudden, the garden is here, and then everybody like, 
that corner down there, the people, the next corner down, the people started clean. They cleaned it up and, and edged it up and stuff. And then on uh, across the street from me, the woman never wanted any flowers. She made, well, me and my grandson put two flower beds in her yard. She wanted some flowers and stuff. She said, "I'm not gonna have everybody else's yard looking nice and mine not." But it, it's making made the whole community just get out there and start beautifying. And it's, it's really a, an asset, too. A lot of people come by when we're working and say, you have it looking real nice over there. Yeah. So it, it, it makes, makes you feel good to know that you started a chain reaction. And also, my grandson uh, put a garden in his backyard this year. Tell him, Jonathan. Yeah, it, it's like a fever, a flu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody catching a little bit of it.